Mornings with Riddle. Each week we bring you guys information about a different area of Riddle Village. Whether it's something you see every day, like the library, the courtyard, or something behind the scenes, like when we meet with members of a committee. Yep. This week we wanted to focus on something that maybe you don't know as much about because it's more employees behind the scenes. That's right. So Brooke had the opportunity to sit down with Mandy Allen, who is our Director of Administration and Staff Development. Mm -hmm. And we focused mostly on staff development and learned about all the different trainings that the employees here at Brittle Village um, have to do throughout the year. Right. Me and Mandy had a great conversation, and I'm really looking forward to showing everyone. Why don't we take a look? Sounds good. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Mandy Allen. Hello. She is our Director of Administration and Staff Development. Thank you for joining us, Mandy. Thanks for having me. So I know you wear a lot of hats here, but today we're going to focus on staff development. So what exactly is that from your perspective? What does that entail? Thank you. So for my position, it's really a bird's eye view of training and development in the community. Uh, when new hires come here, mm -hmm. I'm one of the first people they see for training. I make sure that everybody gets the same training as far as you know, what Riddle Village is about, customer service, communication, as well as the mandatories for the new hires. Mm -hmm. um, as far as all current employees, it's more of a bird's eye level on training, meaning that I'm not department specific. I'm not going to teach them skills they may need for only their departments. Um, the training I provide is more you know, what everybody has to do. Maybe it's compliance related or, or um, communication or HIPAA or fire safety, things mm -hmm. like that. Um, so it's pretty much what I do. Um, I also help organize the, the CPR schedule of training for those departments that are required to have it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that again, I'm not doing that personally. It's somebody actually we bring in from the outside yeah. to certify them. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, just making sure those that need that kind of training, it's, it's completed as well. Okay, so you kind of keep an eye on what is required of our staff, what can improve, like, relations here, staff relations, mm -hmm. and look into things like that for each department and general for the whole Yeah, so whole on an annual basis, there's trainings that we absolutely have to do, mm -hmm. and I make sure they're done. But then I also make sure, you know, if a director mentions, hey, you know, I think it would be helpful if we include this in the training. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then we'll, we'll see about that and make sure that's included as well in those annual trainings. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. So obviously you have a lot going on with all this current training. Do you have any plans for future staff training? We're actually in the middle, and we're pretty excited about it, um, to revamp our whole customer service program. Mm -hmm. um, back in the spring, we began by meeting with all staff to discuss effective communication, respectful communication. Um, and that was really to lay the foundation of what our new customer service program is going to be. Oh, great. Um, some residents in our community may have seen us last week and the week before yep. with the, uh, the, the filming devices mm -hmm. out throughout the community. <laughs> we were filming some scenes together for what will be our customer service videos that mm -hmm. we're doing in-house with our own staff. Um, and I'm really excited about it because, you know, not only is it teaching our staff really good information, but I love that we're including our staff in the shooting of yeah. the videos. Um, it makes it feel, you know, really unique and special to our community. Yeah, it's nice seeing staff come together, some residents volunteer to Absolutely, be in these videos. Yes. So it's fun seeing everyone come together and customer service is so important and it's really something that can set us apart. Yes, I agree. Yeah, well, like I said, you wear many hats here at Riddle Village, so thank you so much for taking the time to sit with me and go over <laughs> all the fun training that we do every year. <laughs> all right, thanks, Mandy. Thank you. I'm so excited to see the outcome of that customer service training mm -hmm. that um, Mandy's working on. And I think that it's really great that not only is um, you know the executive team and upper management working on this, but that you along with Mandy and everyone that's putting this together mm -hmm. is really reaching out to our employees and even some residents. I think that there's a lot, there's going to be a lot more excitement in yeah. watching these videos. So, um, you know, I can't wait. Maybe we'll, we'll bring an update uh, later on once that yeah, that's completed. We're definitely having a lot of fun putting the videos together. Staff's coming together. Residents are coming together. So that's fun down the road. And even the training that we currently do, the like a few times a year we have some mandatory training and it's it's a nice refresher honestly it kind of brings us all back together and just kind of reminds us of certain policies just make sure everyone's up to date and I think it gets the employees like you know we're really doing the best we can here absolutely they, they really do a great job of keeping us up to date and obviously after the past 
few years, policies change very rapidly. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel always very informed. So, yeah. um, but look, this is just one of many episodes where we're going to bring you a little bit behind the scenes, not mm -hmm. just what's going on right in front of you. So we can't wait to bring you even more information of all things Riddle Village. We'll see you guys next week. Right, bye, everybody. Bye.